Good morning, grade 6. Welcome to our English class. So, today we're going to continue our lesson last year about word formation. So, we have the types of word formation. We have affix, clipping, compounding, and blending. Remember, we already discussed the type of or two types of affix, right? The suffix and the prefix. Now, we're going to discuss how to use clipping, compounding, and blending, all right? So, clipping is the word formation process which consists in the reduction of a word to one of its parts. So, it is a process of forming a new word by clipping off part of an existing word means by removing some parts of a word. We have here an example, examination. So, the letters I-N-A-T-I-O-N or the letters that are written in red color simply been clipped up and form a new word means or a new word exam. But it has um, basically has same meaning with examination, all right? So, we have the types of clipping. First, final or back clipping means is when the back of a word is deleted. We have here example, memorandum. So, memo, which is the back clip form of memorandum. We remove the word or the letter R-A-N-D-U-M. So, the last few letters, random or R-A-N-D-U-M, and we have the new clip word memo coming from memorandum. The next one is information. We remove the letters R-M-A-T-I-O-M. N. So, we have the word info coming from information. Okay? So, we have the second one, which is initial or for clipping. Deleting the beginning of a word. So, this process can be reversed. So, we have deleted the first two letters, R-O, and we have the new clip word, bot, coming from the word robot. Same thing, we deleted A-L-L-I, and we have the new word or clip word, gator. Sometimes, we use this um, gator referring to alligator. Okay? So, second, we have the word or the word formation blending, right? So, blending is the word formation process in which parts of two or more words combine to create a U whose meaning is often a combination of the original words. So, we have ways to blend. Number one is to combine portions of two other words to form another word to make a new one. Example, camcorder. So, this came from two different words, camera and recorder. And also, we have used portions of these two words to form a new word. So, we only use cam from the word camera and corder from the word recorder. And we have a new word, camcorder. Okay? So, earlier, what we did is we have two words and we only took some portions of each word to form a new word. Remember, from camcorder, we only took the word cam from camera and corder from the corder. In number two, Word blends can also be created by joining a full word with a portion of another word. So, here in this process, what we're going to do is to use one full word and is going to combine with a portion of another word. For example, motorcade is your new word. So, motorcade is a combination of motor plus cavalcade. So, we use the entire word motor and then we use cade is a portion of the word cavalcade to come up with a word motorcade. Okay, so you remember the difference of the two ways 
on how to blend a word, all right? So, we also have word formation process compounding. So, compounding is the word formation process in which two or more lexemes combine into a single word. Compound words may be written as one word or as two words joined with a hyphen. So, the last one, word per formation process, is compounding. This is very easy, especially if you remember the different parts of speech, right? So, here are examples of how we can compound words. It depends on the parts of speech. So, we have noun and noun compound notebook. Note is a noun. Book is a noun. Put it together, it became notebook. Adjective is blue. Noun is berry blueberry verb work noun room workroom noun breast verb feed breastfeed verb steer and a verb fry steer fry adjective high verb light highlight verb break preposition up break up preposition out verb run outrun adjective bitter adjective sweet bittersweet. And last one, preposition in and preposition to into. Okay, so we also have a lot of examples. So these are a few examples that can help you in compounding a word. Okay, so that would be all for today, grade six. I hope to see you in our live discussion. Stay safe and God bless. Bye!